Good day. This is the second video tutorial on the Designer program. Let's consider Strategy Cubes. Enter the palette and select a cube. The cube is the simplest strategy element. It has input sockets that receive a signal. and output sockets which receive the processing result. Enter the cube settings. Depending on the type, the cube has different settings. In the settings, you can change the cube name, data type, and properties, and other parameters. Socket color is determined by data type. Two cubes can be connected if their socket colors match. This reduces the possibility of user error. Clear the screen. Let's consider the basic cubes. A variable is the main cube that receives, stores, and passes data. Candle cube generates candle data. Chart panel receives data and builds charts based on them. Indicators, a cube for calculating the indicator value for the selected instrument. Previous value, the cube that holds the previous value with the set offset. Comparison cube, compares two values and outputs the comparison result. Block cubes, converters, cubes for processing composite elements. Math block cubes, cubes for calculating mathematical expressions. Order books block cubes. Options block. And composite elements block. Consider the chart panel cube. It has input sockets. In the cube settings, you can adjust cube name, select additional sockets for different elements. Customize chart line colors and style. Select the required axles. Clear the screen. Let's plot a candle chart. Select in the palette, Variable, Candles, Chart Panel. Connect them. Set up the period for which the chart is needed. Select the instrument for which you want to build a chart. Click on Start. In the chart window, we will see the candle chart we have built. Often for strategy analysis, indicator charts are used. To build them, you need Select Indicator Cube. Connect it with the Candles Cube and the Chart Panel. In the Cube settings, select the indicator name. For example, the SMA indicator. And click on Start. The indicator chart is built in the same window as the candle chart. Similarly, we will build a chart for the Bollinger indicator. Thus, you can combine several charts at once to analyze the strategy. Sometimes it is necessary to build the indicator chart in a separate window due to different scales. To do this, select the cubes, indicator and chart panel. Connect sockets. 
In the settings of the indicator cube, set the name, for example, RSI. Click on Start. As you can see, the chart is built in a separate window. Similarly, we will build the MACD indicator chart. Thus, multiple charts can be built. This allows for a clearer analysis of the strategy, visualizing its work more clearly. That's all. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye.